It is the talk of the town. A total solar eclipse will capture everyone's attention come Monday afternoon. That includes one college class in particular. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher set in on that class tonight and has the story. A slight change to a physics class at St. Joseph's University with the solar eclipse looming. Tonight's lesson plan was all about eclipses. We're having a big event coming next week, right? We have a, a total eclipse of the sun coming through our country and a partial eclipse visible from here on campus. A once possibly even twice in a lifetime opportunity is nearing North America. How incredibly rare it is to have this alignment happen. How special it is, I should say, to have this alignment happen and to be in the shadow of it. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth completely blocking the face of the sun in the path versus out of the path. It's a different experience, but everyone gets a really great show. Unless you're traveling to a destination to the path of totality, Philadelphia will see a partial eclipse, meaning the moon will cover up 90% of the sun. This is a natural tie in um, to show how what we're doing in our lab here connects to this incredible celestial event that is coming our way. Professor Skapik has been talking about the solar eclipse for a while now. We've been hearing about the eclipse for a couple months now since I've been in this class. Uh, so April 8th is kind of like a big day. So I'm excited to kind of just experience it for myself. If you can get your hands on some eclipse classes, you might as well. A bunch of people are, um, or organizations are giving them out for free. So you might as well um, view it if you're able to. The prime time to catch the partial eclipse locally is between 314 and 340 in the afternoon. It's something you don't want to miss. I often compare it to falling in love for the first time. Like this thing just happened to me. It made me feel a way, some sort of way that I can't explain to others, but I want them to experience that too. You'll have to wait decades for another total solar eclipse in the U.S. in 2044 and 2045, so you're not going to want to miss this one. Reporting from St. Joseph's University, Brianna Gallagher for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Those brilliant minds cannot wait for this day to come.